What up, watch peeps? Sometimes you need what I call distraction watches. You know how sometimes after you maybe bought too many watches and you try to put the brakes on the spending? Or maybe there's just a lull in the market and nothing you really want at the moment. Well, you need something to fill that void. Now, I've done a video on using Vostok for this purpose before, but there's another niche of watches that I like, digitals. And I'm not just talking your run-of-the-mill Casios here. I've got a few not-so-mainstream watches that I'd like to talk about. So I got a quick unboxing of something really cool up front, and then maybe we'll take a look at a couple others. So let's get to it. I'm Pete, and we are Chillin' With Watches. First things first, I'm wearing my scuba dude today. This is the one with that cool aftermarket bezel that's kind of that it's done in relief and it's filled in much like the Breitling Super Ocean. And you ever seen a scuba dude on a Jubilee before, but you can buy sets of end links for like a couple bucks on AliExpress. I take them to my drum sander and you know, a little tweaking here and there and you can make end links for almost any watch. All right, so what we have in here, this is kind of funny. This is a, an unboxing that you're not gonna get anywhere else. I don't think. Dun -dun. Doesn't even say. That's right, an Armatron unboxing. Yup, Armatron. Who does that? I caved on the Armatron. You guys might have seen this on Instagram. I don't know. Oh yeah, check that bad boy out. Let's see if I can get close on that dial. Super fun dial. This thing is tiny. I will put it on wrist so you guys can see, but it's funny because it's really small. Water resist. I don't. I wish they would just give me some kind of number. I need to know what that means. Has a very Timex Q Casio type uh, clasp on the bracelet there. Uh, oh, it's heavy. Surprisingly heavy for what it is. Looking at this Armatron rubric that we just opened. The first thing that jumped out of me with this watch is the awesome blue dial with the little swimmer dude on there, right? Very cool dial, just a lot of fun. Very 80s, 70s? 80s, I guess. Anything ending in Tron is from the 80s, I think. So that two-tone blue is just a lot of fun. But on closer inspection, you'll notice it's just a really cool case shape, right? Almost like an elongated octagon. And it's even got these very cool lugs that, you know, I love the flat cutout from the case. It, it lets you use kind of universal bracelets. They don't have to have, be fitted end links, but just a really cool look. Again, very fitting with that 70s or 80s look. But if you look even closer, you'll notice this is a full metal case, right? It is not that silver painted plastic case you find on so many Casios. This is a full stainless steel case, which is really great at this price and cool for a digital watch period. And you can, you can feel the, it's heavier than you would expect this watch to be when you pick it up. It's got a stainless steel bracelet and they are just folded over links, but it's still very heavy with that case and all. It, it feels solid. It feels quality. You know, looking at the case from the side, it's pretty much flat from the side view, but there is just a little turn down on those lugs. You can see just enough to take up the addition of the case back there to make it even and level. The case back itself, it is a snap on case back. It gives it 50 meters of water resistance though. So I assume that's a real 50 meters. I got a swimming dude on the front, right? It's gotta be able to get wet. I haven't taken it swimming, but I'll have to give that a try. So yeah, the bracelet, very cool links, very reminiscent of what you would find on, you know, any of the vintage inspired Casios or maybe even like a Timex Q. But you want to take a closer look at the button. So the reset button, this switches between 12 and 24 hour mode. The mode button cycles between time, alarm, stopwatch, a second time zone even, and then back to time. The start stop button up here, I think will show you the date and year if you hold it. 
but otherwise used just for the stopwatch and time setting function and the light. The light is <laughs> absolutely awful on this. You can see that little green glow in there. I'll show it to you with the lights off later, but it's not much brighter. Now these little guys come in, they're 55 bucks at full price on the Armatron website, but there's almost always a 10 or even 20% promo running. I'll put a link to the website in the description if any of you are so inclined to check it out. But it also comes in a gold cased version and a black PVD cased version, all with matching bracelet. So if we want to take a look at the dimensions of this watch, it is a 34 millimeter case with 39 millimeters lug to lug. Now, if you're looking on the website, you're going to get different numbers. They are wrong. My numbers are right. It's nine and a half millimeters thick. And it has 18 millimeter lugs. So you are you may have some NATOs laying around. You could try this on. The bracelet's great. I wouldn't use it on anything else. And on this bracelet, it came in at about 80 grams. So the other digitals I wanted to talk to you guys about are Freestyle Shark Watches. Now these guys played a huge role in my early watch collecting. I'm talking way back. So I started like many people collecting watches with swatches. They were huge in, when I was in like middle school. I remember everyone had a few of them and used to put mixed color swatch cards on them and stuff. A lot of fun. But by the time we were in high school, um, me and my group of friends were very much into the surfer style and look. And we loved these things, these uh, freestyle shark watches. I don't know what happened to any of the original ones. I remember I had a blue and white one and a black and yellow one. But this orange and white one here is pretty dang old. You can probably see some wear on the on the bezel, it came on a different, uh, it had a fitted rubber strap originally, but that long since broke. But uh, yeah, if we take a look at their website real quick, you'll see these come in all sorts of different styles and colors, some really out there patterns, maybe not for everyone, but pretty cool. If we take a look at their straps, they also come in a lot of different colors and patterns, but they have like these two piece Velcros. There's the clip like I showed you before. There's like these one piece Velcro leashes and even fitted rubber straps in all sorts of different colors. If we take a look at the case shape of these freestyle shark watches, you'll see that it's really similar to the case shape of the rubric, larger and not as defined, but really similar in that almost octagon shape it has to it. Even the lugs have that flat cut out from the case. So looking at these guys, they have all plastic cases, including the uh, screwed on plastic bezel. And like I said, this orange one came with a fitted rubber strap that has since broken. Um, this one came with a, this is actually like a limited edition Shark Week collab. Let's see if I can show you that there. And it came with what they call a shark clip bracelet. These ones kind of, if I can get These kind of just clip together. Not my favorite, but the cool thing is these have 20 millimeter lugs. So you are really open as far as strap options go. You can see I have this one on, I have both of them on MN style straps that just match and really kind of bring out the colors. I think they're pretty cool like that. I think I'm going to go on their website and grab a, another fitted rubber and maybe like one of those Velcro shark leashes for this one or this one. One of these, I think those will be really cool. It'll be a little nostalgic for me as well. Now these actually have, looking at the functions, these actually have a really awesome backlight and we'll take a look at that with the lights off in just a minute. But looking closer here, the uh, mode button switches between time, alarm, stopwatch. These actually have a countdown timer as well back to time. Start and stop switches between time and date. Very similar to what you saw with that armor charm rubric actually, besides being start and stop functions for the uh, stopwatch timer and time setting. Now these ones also support a second time zone. You can switch between time zones using this reset button. Pretty cool functionality all in all. And these guys run about 65 bucks like we saw on the website. But again, there's almost always 
some models are on sale for $39 and there's usually 10 or even 20% promo codes running all the time. Taking a look at the dimensions of these, they are a 37 millimeter case, 44.5 millimeters lug to lug, 12 millimeters thick, and like I mentioned, they have 20 millimeter lugs. So NATOs, all kinds of straps will be open to any kind of rubber. I bet this would even look cool on a black Tropic strap. But on these uh, MN straps, these come in at a very light 37 grams. Super light, great dimensions, very wearable. And here's how the little rubric wears on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Not bad at all. Obviously you're getting some very retro vibes here. It's not a big watch. It's small, but I think it wears just great. The bracelet's quite comfortable. It's light, it's fun. And as far as what this would compare to, I don't know, maybe like a Casio, the AE-168, or if the gold has a different number. Very similarly sized to that. Even the display size is almost the same. But again, you get that full stainless case. Might even be comparable to, say, maybe the Pac-Man. Pac-Man, a little bigger, bigger display, bigger numbers. And here is how these Shark Watch wears on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I think these wear really nice. They're just a lot of fun. They're so light, you barely even feel them. Really nice size, not too small, not too big. Now, how do what do these compare to? I don't, you know, actually, I think they compare closely to a G-Shock Square. They have a pretty similar size display, but much larger numbers. But it also yeah, it might be comparable to say like a World Timer. World Timer's a little bigger, but I think they wear pretty similarly. So how do they function in the dark? <laughs> like I said, the rubric light is absolutely awful. And the Shark Watch, as I mentioned, actually has some pretty decent EL light. So there you have it, some really cool digitals with swagger coming in around 50 bucks. Definitely not something you're gonna see every day, if at all. And definitely still attention grabbing and a lot of fun with all the color in use. Let me know what you guys think. Share your thoughts in the comments. Before I let you go, sneaker check, wearing my fours today. All right, that's it, I am out. If it's not too much trouble, like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.